Now it's time to talk food during the Lost Creek Health and Rehabilitation sponsored food segment. This week, Zach is tackling one, if not the most famous, national food holidays, or at least that's what I'm being told. It's National Corn Chip Day. Zach, take it away. Thank you, Mark. Well, January 29th is National Corn Chip Day. It's National Corn Chip Day. And while we realize it's very easy to maybe go out to the store and buy many varieties of corn chips, we decided to see just how difficult it would be to make our own. This is a three-part process that we're going to engage in. It's making the dough, making corn tortillas, and then, of course, making the corn chips. And I think Andy and Jennifer are up for the challenge today, We're guys. engaging in something. This <laughs> sounds like a long-term relationship really that we're having with the corn well, tortillas. When you consider the fact you walk down the food aisle and you have so many types of corn chips to choose from. There are a lot. I mean, this is a big deal to be making our own corn chips, even though it seems simple. We can simple, go into business, Faith and Friends really corn is, chips. It really is, but we could. So we'll have to see how they taste here shortly. But Selling first, for a dollar a chip. did you hear the three-part process? I wasn't listening. Well, this is, we're going to use a recipe. Okay, I the was caught up on engaged. The, the recipe is from leangreenbean.com, which is kind of cool. Lean green beans. Yeah. So there's green beans in these chips. No, but, you know, that's the website. <laughs> Lean green beans. So three ingredients are needed for the dough. That's where we're going to start. You guys ready? Three ready. ingredients. Let's okay. go. All right. One, two, I don't three. Think so. What? <laughs> no, that's not right. All right. First, masa harina. Is that related to the Gamesa company that makes the amazing pancake mix out of this Mexico? This is one cup. I, don't, I have no idea about that. But this is one cup that we're going to start with. And then we're going to throw in some hot water and salt. So really, we're talking, you know, water is so that's a kind of a half cup. I know how to add. Do you know Thank that you. you need more than one? Is that how it works? If Nathan was here, he'd be telling us about semicircles and <laughs> kinds of things. He would. He's very math mathematical. All right. Water? All right, flour. How much water do we need? We need a, th or a, a half to a Three fourths cup of hot burning. water. Don't you need an exact amount? Um, you know, we're experimenting today. Oh. Okay. So that's one that half to three quarter half. cup. We're gonna see how the half works. Okay. So it mixes up, and then we're a half teaspoon of salt, Andy. Where's my whisk? Well, you don't measure a teaspoon with a whisk. And we forgot our. Oh my. <laughs> that's <laughs> a half teaspoon we, right there. We forgot oh, our. Yeah, uh, there we go. Our Bam. <laughs> we have no measuring spoon today. So I have a hand. That's. Close enough. What is this for? This is not one of our ingredients. Well, that's you dip not, the chips not in yet this? to be used. Oh. I mean, that's oil. You said three ingredients, Zach. That, and do you remember what they were? Salt. We did the salt. I think we need a little the more water. water. And the, the flour. flour. Let's add a little bit more water in here. I'm not going to pour this in my hand. And you can see it is a little yeah, bit dry here, so they're going to add a little more water. When that's can fine. I use this? Jennifer, get down and dirty and just use your hands in the, in the flour. It's okay. going to mix better. There we go. <laughs> oh, Andy, you and the cutting utensils. You're the one that provides them. <laughs> <laughs> How's that shaping up there? Um, still a little dry? Some more water? Still, just a tad bit. Just a tiny bit. That's okay. a tad. That is an exact tad. <laughs> Let me put my so foil we're, back we're on the salt. we're going to sell Faith and Friends corn chips, and we're also going to sell Faith and we're Friends. We're opening a restaurant Andy, here. At Andy I would love to open a restaurant, except I don't want to do all the work spoons. that goes into it. <laughs> you want to have a restaurant with no work. Right. I just want the food okay. that I can eat Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going... Too fast. Jennifer. Oh my. What's wrong? Well, Jennifer skipped this. Well, went I right ahead with the next step and rolled it into a ball. That is our next oh, step after man. we mix up the dough. Stop working <laughs> forward. Yeah. You're going to roll it into a ball just like that. Okay. I'm just, here. It needs to be a perfect, perfect here. ball. Take a. It's no a longer perfect. perfect. Ball. What are we doing? Well, roll it smashing. into a ball. One ball. <laughs> One ball or multiple balls? Didn't he say smash? Isn't this, why are we making more than one this with these ingredients? We need eight. We need oh, eight. We need what eight. happened to the smashing? We need eight balls. That was a uh, way off course. Oh. Okay, you roll balls and I'll move into the next step. Okay. Yeah, we're going to roll eight of them. They have to be okay. perfect. So quickly do that. Sorry. Jennifer, what are you doing here? <laughs> so you, quickly. Go faster. You seem to know. Be ready. Well. I have a ball here, so I'm ready to move on to the next okay, step. She's looking for it. her tortilla Do maker, have, which she left at home. Look what we have here, parchment paper. Okay. Okay. That's good for freezing fruit as well. So we're going to pull some of that out. I'll let you do that. And you're going to place it between, you're going to take your ball, let's see if we can show this here, place it between the two sides of the paper. Oh, I should probably have a second piece then. Well, I thought you were going to fold that over. We can go with the second piece. And we're going to flatten this dough between the two pieces of paper. Here's the flattening part. Oh. I enjoyed my portion. Can you use this to flatten it? That's, yes. 
All right, are there any tips or tricks or how flat do we want it to be? I suppose that's how flat you want your corn chips. Paper thin. <laughs> you need thin corn chips, right? <laughs> you can also use a rolling pin as opposed to a glass plate. That's what I always flatten stuff with. <laughs> you could throw it on the floor, stand on it. Oh, we sh there we go. Yeah. Stand on it. Look How's at that. that. Oh. Nice mini tortilla. So now what we have is a little tortilla. Okay. Right? Look at that. We created that. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful from three ingredients. So we're going to drop it into this hot plant pan here and we're going to let it cook. <laughs> no, I don't think that's yet. We're going to let it cook and get warm here. Can you guess what we're going to do after we uh, roast our tortilla? I cannot add marshmallows. We're going to cut it up. <laughs> we're going to cut it up. So you could do a tortilla and Make tortillas, well, or you sure. can make them into chips if you want. Same type of. I mean, essentially chips consistency. Are, yeah. Well, tortillas how's it, how's are soft. It doing? I don't think our things on real high here. That was not one of our steps, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't told to turn it on. All right. Turn on your up your stove if you're going to make right. these. What are you looking for back there? I was going to pull our final product out. I don't think it's cooking very quickly. So what do we do after we're finished with these cooking? What would be the next step? I bet I know. This? Well, oh, it's already, the lid's already off. The unveil's been done. Cool. Oh. Well, Andy's cutting up his own size chips. What we're going to do... These are not triangular chips. ...are cut up your chips, and we're going to lay them in oil to cook. I think we just... Here, <laughs> let's brush some oil on. Okay. Where do you want me to put it? Put it in, the, put it in there. The great thing about cooking is... You can do whatever it's you an want. experiment. We're trying new things all the time. So you're going to baste these with oil so that when we throw them in the pan, or on the pan, they will thicken up and get hard, right? There's the recipe in case you missed it. So there we go. We're going to spray the olive oil on there as opposed to basting salt. it, and we're going to sprinkle it with salt. 400 like degrees salt? at 10 minutes should get you right about where you want to be. Now, yeah, Andy, that Jennifer, is gluten Jennifer, you were saying salt. that this stoneware you're putting it on Baked better? Is that what we're? Um, no, stoneware. Bakes work I, well, bakes stoneware works. bakes quite well for many things. But um, not the tortilla chips. Are you going to juggle inside? I I think that um, I think that using a a. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Wow. We're moving on I'm to our final juggling. product. Oh, too. look at these. This is what I'm here for. And these are actually a little thicker, so if you like your thicker corn chips, and these, these are would be great for dipping into salsa. Of and notice these are on a middle tray. Yes, these were on the middle tray, and so they... They taste really good. They're chewy. Are they supposed to be chewy? Well, not ideally, no, but that's going to depend mm. on I do taste them. how long you bake them. They would be great for dipping because they're mm -hmm. sturdy. <laughs> sturdy. And so this is our attempt at home making corn tortilla chips. A little thicker than you'd guess, but you can see here. I got a thin one. Yeah. We're going to have all of this ingredients, all of the directions on our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com, mm. so you can find out all of the things that we may have forgotten to do. Including cool, juggling. On there. <laughs> We're going to keep eating corn tortilla chips. So we'll throw it back to you, Mark, with a little bit more of a serious challenge for our viewers. Oh. 